Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana, and I know it's been a minute since I've posted a video. I really just needed to take a break, <laughs> just because there's a lot going on in my life, and I just needed to kind of take a break from different things. I also just like hit a reading slump, so... I didn't feel like I could keep filming if I wasn't reading, so I wanted to give myself a break where I just didn't feel like pressured to read and pressured to film. After some thinking, I am going to probably change some of the structure with my channel. I know previously I was posting like two times a week. Right now, I think going forward, I am going to only post one time a week. I just need to find my groove, if that makes sense, so I figured one time a week would probably work best for me right now. Also, I'm probably not going to do wrap-ups anymore, just because my reading's been really weird this year, and so I think I'm going to try and just do recent reads, so if I read enough books in a certain amount of time, whether it be a month or two months or three months, whatever, then I will just go ahead and make a recent reads video and talk about those books, just because I feel like I'm not reading enough monthly to have a whole video ready to film and yeah so i'm hoping this works for me and i can keep posting videos because i love i love filming and making videos and talking about books it's just the creativity aspect is not here with me right now unfortunately so hopefully that'll change but anyways moving on so this video is actually going to be a recent reads video it's going to be books that I've read in April and May just because I read a good number of them and I wanted to talk about them. So the first book I read in April is Nevermore The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. So this is about a girl named Morgan who was born on Aventide which is like the unluckiest day of the year in her society. So any child born on this day is supposed to die in 12 years when the like day comes back around I guess. And usually children born on this day are blamed for every misfortune that happens around them or like in the world. <laughs> so like if a tornado comes through and destroys someone's house, the child is immediately blamed for it. And so when the story starts, Eventide is, I think, the next day. And she, her family is, like, gearing up, basically, for her to die. And this man comes and basically tells her he can save her if he comes to the Wondrous Society and, like, pass all their trials. And so she goes with him. And it kind of reminds me of, like, a Willy Wonka-esque story, if that makes sense, except that there's no, like, chocolate factory. <laughs> so I gave this three stars, mostly because I thought it was just okay. It was a little slow-paced for me, which, granted, I know it's a middle grade, so that didn't bother me as much, but I feel like the back and forth with the information we were getting <laughs> was a little hard to get through. The whole time, you, like, know she's been picked to join the society, and, like, there's a reason, but then you don't really know the reason, but it's, like, continuously hinted. It's just, like, really interesting how the story went. So I liked it enough, but, again, it was just okay for me. Uh, I think eventually I do want to read the second book and maybe even the third book and finish this trilogy or series, but... I am not in a rush to do so. Uh, I'm glad I finally read this because I know how much people like raved about it and everything. I did enjoy the characters and I liked the purity of the world. Everybody really believed in the magic that was happening and everything so I really liked that too. Next I read Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman and this is about a boy named Charlie and a boy named Nick who become friends and from there they kind of grow into a relationship. So Charlie is I think already out and Nick is not, which I don't think he's ever thought about it. 
And so it isn't until he befriends Charlie that he realizes like that he has feelings for Charlie. So it's a very cute story. I thought this was a super cute story. This has been on my shelf for a minute. So I'm glad I finally read it because I really did love it. I'm excited to pick up the next couple of volumes and just see what happens next for them because they're really adorable and I'm really excited that there's gonna be it's a tv show right or is it a movie either way I'm excited that there's gonna be a, a live adaption happening for this because I'm definitely excited to see what it looks like on a screen I loved how Charlie and Nick kind of grew to be friends you really see the growth in their relationship in this so i think that's what made it so like wholesome and adorable so definitely looking forward to see how their relationship grows more in the next coming volumes next i also read quiet girl in a noisy world an introvert story by debbie tongue so this was a such a cute story but also for me so relatable if you know me in real life i'm a really intense introvert like i enjoy being by myself a lot of the time i don't really like going out like in like huge crowds of people because it's very draining so this story just i found it so relatable like i kind of saw myself in this character because she is a hardcore introvert it's basically about this girl who's kind of just going through life and like discovering what kind of makes her happy as an introvert so she gets a, a new job and she realizes like down the line that like the job is so draining and she doesn't really love it as much as she thought she would and it takes a lot for her to like deal with her anxiety and like go on the path that she really wants to be on so again just so relatable the last book I read in April was The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I gave this three stars. This was definitely the least favorite of mine in this series so far, but I still enjoyed it. So I, if you've read the first two, you already know that this is about Poppy and Hawk, who are two people from completely different worlds who come together to try and, like, save the world, if that makes sense. This book particularly, I didn't enjoy it as much, mostly because it just felt like a filler book. Like, I didn't know there would be more books after this. I thought this was the last one, so I thought we would get all of our answers, like, completed, and it would be good to go. But we didn't. This is like the third out of six. <laughs> so this really just felt like a filler. Like some things happened and we got some answers. But besides those things happening, it didn't feel like anything else was going on. A lot of the time, they were either almost dying or traveling. And so it just, I didn't, I felt like this maybe could have been, one, shorter, <laughs> but two, like some of this could have either been added into the second book or just saved for then like combined with the next book that's going to be in this, this, this world. I feel like this was mostly published for the fact that there's going to be a spinoff for Nyctos in September and I feel like that's why this was published because uh throughout this book he was mentioned so many times and I was like y'all are really pushing this like spin off super duper hard so yeah overall though I I did enjoy the information that we did get though I still have more questions now because I'm like what <laughs> is happening but yeah. <laughs> uh, am I gonna pick up the next book? Probably. Uh, am I gonna enjoy it? I do not know. <laughs> we shall see. Alright, next in May, I did read A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Naney. I gave this four stars. I thought this was really adorable. So this is about a girl, Leela, who within like a three month time span, she has like a lot of bad things happen to her. Her grandmother dies, her boyfriend dumps her, and then her best friend uh, basically dips on their college plans and, without telling her. 
and they kind of have this like big fight and their friendship ends so she's going through like a really intense emotional time and she's kind of depressed and so her family is very worried about her so they send her to England to stay with a family friend for a couple of months so that way she can kind of just relax and I guess find herself again but she like at first doesn't really want to go because she's a baker and she's supposed to be taking over the bakery that her abuela uh, left to her but obviously her family like wants her to get better more than that so they're like oh like it'll still be here when you get back so at first she's like set like I'm not gonna like this place it's not Miami I I hate it here already and then she kind of gets to know a group of friends and she kind of learns to like love it and learns to basically dream again if that makes sense and I just really enjoyed the way the story was told. I liked the characters in it, especially the, the male love interest. I thought he was super sweet. And I really liked how their relationship grew because really they they stayed friends throughout the majority of the story. And I really liked that they just keep accumulated this like genuine friendship before they moved on to being anything else. And so I thought this was just a really cool story and definitely will read anything else this author writes next because I think I enjoy the way she flushes her characters out and just portrays them. All right, and then I do have a DNF on my list, and yeah. So I tried to read Wings of Ebony by JL, and I had to DNF after about 50 pages unfortunately. I I went into this thinking that this story was one thing and then ended up being something else and I think that's why I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. I definitely encourage other people to read this because obviously all of our tastes are different and this could be someone's favorite story ever, which I hope it is, but I just personally did not enjoy <laughs> the way this story was being told and just the way the story ended up going after like a certain time so just not my thing but I am glad I gave it a try and now I know all right so that was my recent reads hopefully you enjoy this video I am glad I'm back hopefully I can be consistent with this <laughs> and my slump will end hopefully so yeah uh like the video if you like it down below if you have any comments questions or concerns please go ahead and just leave all of that in the comment section and if you're not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below and if you want to see more videos from me please just hit that subscribe button down below you are awesome flowers in the world full of weeds mm -hmm.